It's our first review of 2023, and you know what that means. It's time for the main event. I've noticed that some of you have been hard at work on tackling those New Year's resolutions, so why not take things one step further? After all, your mental and physical health is what's most important. Do something you wouldn't normally find yourself doing. Run a marathon, climb Mount Everest, watch Morbius on Netflix. Fuck that shit! Or, and this might be more fun, take part in an obstacle course. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Do you remember that thrill, that rush of adrenaline? How far are you willing to go to get that back? Before we begin this race, I want to give a shout out to whoever came up with the name Obstacle Corpse. It's such a clever pun that accurately describes this film. It's one of the most violent indie horror films I've ever seen. It's sort of like Hunger Games by way of trauma. It, it, it's uh, really quite fascinating the way it goes. In the film, we follow a large group of people as they compete in the world's most terrifying obstacle course. That description in itself is a bit of a stretch, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. In the movie, we are introduced to Sonny, who signs up to compete in the obstacle course along with her best friend. After signing all the waivers and meeting the other contestants, the deadly games begin. As you would imagine, the obstacle course itself becomes a battleground, as friends fight with friends and family members begin to turn on each other, all with the objective of making it to the finish line. That's fucked up. <laughs> this is the aspect of obstacle corpse that stuck with me the most. It's a reflection of what the human race is capable of. Sort of like true to life horror, and I don't think there's anything scarier than that. The opening scene in Obstacle Corpse is probably my favorite, because it has this Charlie Brown type moment that made me laugh out loud. This particular bit was a great way to open the film, and perfectly sets up what you're about to witness going further into it. How hard could you push yourself to find the warrior that's been in you all along? Obstacle Corpse is the debut feature film from writer-director Hope Madden. Madden has previously directed some short films in the past, and if this film is any indicator of what Hope is capable of, then we're in for a real treat. I'd buy that for a dollar! On the surface, it's a well-crafted horror comedy in the vein of something like Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. If you look a little closer, you'll see that Obstacle Corpse has a lot to say about the tribal nature of human beings. There's actual subtext here, and it's the kind of subtext that George Romero touched on in his Dead movies. And it doesn't help that the group behind the course, you know, the ones that are kind of running the show, sort of feels like a cult. At first it's kind of hard to tell whether it's like a military program, or some nut job with a bunch of money that wants to gather people for the sake of killing each other. I'm all for that. People actually compete in events like this in real life, so it kind of makes you wonder. Speaking of which, let's talk about the obstacle course itself. Based on a description of the plot, I was expecting the courses to be very dangerous. Like something you would see in a Saw movie. That's not the case here. It's less like Saw, and a little bit more like Stone Cold Steve Austin's Broken Skull Challenge. Yeah, sure. This obstacle course is something that you would expect to see out of a summer camp. Then again, Obstacle Corpse feels like a Friday the 13th movie, just without the campgrounds and obnoxiously horny teenagers. You're no fun! But don't get me wrong. Some parts of this course are dangerous. Most of the violence, however, comes from the participants themselves. Human beings will fight tooth and nail to cross the finish line, so go figure people will go out of their way to try to eliminate the competition. Makes sense. Playing dirty to be number one is the American way. To prove that you are the elite. Are you ready for this? Obstacle Corpse is a borderline slasher film with a terrific cast of characters. There's some standout performances here from Sylvie Mix, Gareth Tidball, and Donovan Riley Wolfington. It's not to discredit all the other actors in the film, because everyone does a terrific job with their performances. Is he smoking? 90% of the movie takes place outdoors, so I have a lot of respect for the actors having to endure these type of working conditions. The characters competing in the race are sort of an odd bunch. There's one character in Obstacle Corpse that sets himself apart from the rest of the group. It's one of those tropes that I admire quite a bit. You see it all the time in movies like Cube and Battle Royale. I did enjoy this movie quite a bit, but I will say it's not perfect. The biggest complaint I have with Obstacle Corpse is that there's never really any tension or suspense. While it's not a gory movie, 
There is a high body count with plenty of stabbings and an impressive amount of blood. These death scenes don't have much shock value, and I think some of that has to do with the lack of music. So many of the death scenes in this movie are oddly quiet. I mean, minus the screaming and all. The movie leans heavily on the comedy anyway, so that wasn't much of a deal breaker for me. Have you seen a couple of runners? A uh, nerdy man bleeding, he's with a little skinny woman not yet bleeding. I hate to say it, friend, but I'm not taking my chances with Chef Boyardee out there. That man is terrifying. With Obstacle Corpse, you're just going along for the ride. While the obstacles themselves are a bit of a letdown, there's plenty of character development to keep you focused and interested. I did enjoy my time with the movie, so I recommend checking it out once it becomes available to the public. If you're into horror comedies like Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, then Obstacle Corpse is an experience worth signing up for.